Hello, this is Pastor Matthew Woods from Grace Lutheran Church in New Albany, Indiana, and this is the weekly devotion for Monday, June 27, 2022. Today's title, Overturned. By now, the whole country has heard the decision uh, from the Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade. After almost 50 years, it has finally come, and the reactions have been as expected by the usual suspects. It has been the position of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, and Grace Lutheran Church to pray for such a decision, of course. Now it falls back to the state level, and, and the muddy waters of litigation will begin anew, at least at the local level. But let me remind you today that Roe was effectively overturned each time a mother decided to keep her baby over all these years. After 50 years, pro-life clinics have been ministering to women one person at a time, and they've been very effective. They outnumber the abortion clinics, I've, I've heard, from two to one at least. The steadfast and consistent work of those who work in those clinics, those pro-life places, have gotten better and better at listening and caring uh, for women since Roe hit the courts. Those who work in uh, uh, those clinics, in my opinion, are heroes of the pro-life ministry. They are the front lines, and they have done so without without billions of dollars of federal money. Right around the corner from us at Grace Lutheran Church is the Choices Life Resource Center. Most of us know it because of the baby bottle boomerang. For those of you that don't, they give us little plastic, um, hard plastic baby bottles that are really like piggy banks, and we fill them up with our change or monies as offerings, and that's what they use to help support their ministry. The money goes on to provide important services, free services, to women who have who come to the clinic. Free pregnancy tra uh, tests, free ultrasounds, free parenting classes, one-on-one -on -one with client advocates, uh, mentors and opportunities to earn points that would help provide free formula, diapers, pack and plays, car seats and resources that will go ongoing, provide ongoing support all the way through the preschool years. It's not just saving the baby, it's about helping the mom. The love of Christ is focused on the moms um, as well as the babies. And you see, that's that's super, that's a big deal. It's never been a, an either or issue for Christians. It's always been about the mom as well as the baby. It's not about the, pre not about the reproductive rights of moms. It's about the moms. It's never been about us, those other things. It's about moms and their babies. hope I've said it clearly enough. It's about the love of Jesus being put in a real world way to work. It's about bringing, uh, bringing life or resources to some, to some of them and, and forgiveness to others who have already had an abortion and are struggling with that. The work isn't uh, going to change just because Roe has been overturned. And see, that's my point today. Lots of moms will still need the Life Resource uh, Center. And those moms need us to support the Life Resource Center with our dollars and our cents and our prayers. It's part of our mission statement in Grace to connect with people in their everyday life, right? Struggling with a pregnancy is for some women where they are in everyday life. That's why we at Grace Lutheran Church support the Life Resource Center. But let's also remind ourselves today of some scripture. Because human life is important on all levels. First, a couple of verses about human life. Genesis 1 and 2, I'm not going to quote them, but they talk about creation, right? And humanity being at the crown of that creation. The highlight of those two chapters is the fact that God created humanity in his image. And we must not forget that. That's what we are defending. That's what we're trying to bless. And so, um, blessing a mom. Here we go. Of course, one that is well known is, is uh, Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. Uh, For you form my inward parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Before I um, Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. And then, uh, of course, there is Jeremiah 1.5, which tells us, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. 
You see, it is to give us eternal life that Jesus came. The greatest overturning in history happens at the cross, not in the courts, at the cross and in the resurrection, where our sins are forgiven and death itself, the ruling of death, has been overturned. Jesus overturns the victory from guilty sinner to saved sinner. The women who have struggled with the abortion question are still struggling as human beings do. The compassion of Jesus for all women and men is to overturn the hold that sin has on them, to release them from it, to love them as Christ did. That's our church mission. To love the mother uh, and you will love the child, right? What's more is that most of us know how important a good mom is. We've seen some good ones in scripture. You got Hannah, who was Samuel's mom, great prophet, who ended up anointing King David. Then you have Mary, of course, Jesus' mom, who was faithful, of course, all the way through. And then Eunice, for example, uh, Timothy's mom, who went on to be a, 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 um, a helper with Paul in order to bring the mission field or bring the gospel to the mission field. We know what good moms do and how they make a difference in our lives. We celebrate Mother's Day because of it. Moms have a big place in God's word and his plan and in this world. They have a huge impact upon the church and a huge impact upon the mission field. Imagine the potential, uh, uh, imagine the potential of a mom who learns the, the Lord's compassion about the truth of the word and, and imagine what that will do for her child and what that child may become because of, because of that change in her life. Finally, let's not forget that we've been winning the pro-life argument by winning the hearts of moms, not with good lawyers. The big win is, is, is not in the high court, but in the hearts of the people we minister to. Like it or not, having a baby is a decision. We all have, we've all been given the ability to make decisions or choose our path. 1 Corinthians 10.23 acknowledges, I can choose to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. The goal of life, of the life ministry, has been to save the mom as well as the baby, to help facilitate a decision that blesses the mom as well as the baby, and to give her the means by which she can become a competent mom. To bless her in the gospel. That's the point. So yes, yes, I'm glad that Roe has been overturned. Many children, sadly, have been sacrificed on the altar of Roe, and it's a terrible thing. However, many have also been saved during these 50 years because of the cross of Jesus, because of the ministry of life clinics, because of other women ministering to them. The greater good is achieved with, when we trust in the power of God's word to win, rather than upon the flawed human courts of men. And that will always be true, if, even in this case. So, in the name of Jesus, God bless that decision, but more importantly, God bless the, women, uh, the women's life resource centers that are out there. God bless our ministry at Grace as we try to help those women and those resource centers. And so, the Lord bless you. We'll be with you. Thanks for joining me today. Continue to pray for our country. It certainly needs it. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for joining me today. And, and the Lord be with you. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.